What's up, party people? This is DT here with another video for you. Did you miss me? I missed you too. <laughs> so let's go over driving in Japan, debunk some myths, and see an undercover cop on the expressway. Sound like fun? Cool. <laughs> Road signs in Japan. There are many. I have friends that still aren't sure what most of them are and when it's okay to go straight or make a left turn or a U-turn. So let's go over all of that and I want to teach you how to back into a parking spot. Yes, no more pulling in. This is Japan. That can be dangerous for you. First and foremost, to get a license in Japan, you have to attend a mandatory two to three month course and pass a driving test. This will cost you around Niji Rokuman to Sanjuman yen. Everyone has to pay it unless you are a SOFA status member. Left curve ahead, max speed limit is 60 km per hour and no passing. Two way traffic and be careful of oncoming traffic. In Japan, tunnel names are posted right above the tunnel entrance with green signs mostly. Max speed sign again. You will see a lot of these in another sign and they're probably the most prevalent signs in Japan. Road work ahead in 200 meters. Speed sign is 80, which is the standard speed for expressways in Japan. Then you have the merging sign. Traffic will merge from the left, so slow down and either pass them or let them in if you're in the left lane. This means there's an exit up ahead. Construction vehicle up ahead. And obviously this is a do not enter sign. Reduce speed to 40 kilometers per hour if you are headed that way, which we are, because a toll gate is coming up. 20 kilometers per hour going through the toll gate. There's a warning saying that your speed will be slightly reduced due to an incline. Ah, the old airport sign. This one is for Haneda Airport, probably the best one in Japan, honestly. I have been to several airports. Some places only have one terminal and one ATM machine, and they don't take any foreign cards and other things too. <coughs> Kamaguchi. <coughs> but Haneda is nice. This is Yokohama Bay Bridge, by the way. Many years ago, this bridge and other places were hot spots for illegal street racing. Now, years of street racing have taught me how to look out for police officers out here. You know, on Tokyo Drift, when they say if you go over 180 kilometers per hour, they won't even try. That's complete BS, by the way. They have specialized cars just for the chase. In fact, they sometimes even try to make you race them so they can give you a ticket. I've seen it firsthand. And here he is. Question. Is the right lane wide open and all the drivers driving very slowly? You could be getting set up, so be careful. Psh, if only he subscribed to Daddy T Japan, he would have gotten that real free info. Instead, he's going to get a 25,000 yen ticket. Coming up on Haneda Airport, you see the control tower. Ah, the old C1, another hotspot for street racing, also very freaking dangerous. Massive set of balls required, all others need not apply.
Now you notice the airport sign changed because we passed Haneda. So the next airport is Narita. It's a little bit more on the countryside. It's actually not in Tokyo, it's in Chiba. But fly in there if you have to. But just know if you want to get to Tokyo proper, it's going to take you a little while. Downhill slope up ahead. Watch your distance in between the car in front of you. Now you can pass in tunnels as long as the dotted white lines are on the side you want to pass on. If they aren't and they're a solid orange, you cannot pass. And that'll get you a $100 assessment. Exit lane. Now, I am actually driving all the way to Tokyo to take my daughter to a photo shoot in Odaiba. Have you ever been there? Fun fact for you, Odaiba is actually a man-made island full of fun things to do. Restaurants, uh, they have an amusement park, and even more, I think they have that Gundam thing all the kids are talking about. Joking, of course I know what Gundam is, but I'm a Neon Genesis Evangelion fan myself, and there was a time when you had to choose. <laughs> And I even like Pat Labor Police. That was one of my favorite ones. Now, can I proceed straight? Yes, I can. There's a green arrow saying I can. Now, can I make a left or right turn? Nope, I have to wait for that arrow or a full green light. The one on the left is no parking. This and its brother sign are very prevalent in Japan. There isn't enough space for people to get by if you just stop, but surprisingly enough, people do it anyway. Remember, when making a turn, always stay on the left side. The median should always be on your side if you have a right-handed drive vehicle. If you turn and the median is on your left, <laughs> then you are going down the wrong way. Also, pay attention to the arrows on the ground. They should be pointing away from you, not at you. Funny story, I once saw an old Japanese man coming straight at me, very slowly, but he was in the wrong lane, not me, and he was screaming while driving. Ah! I felt bad for him, but not bad enough to get out and help him, because it was dangerous. Now, this is a legal U-turn. I can make a U-turn here. Check that sign out. Has two do not enter signs there. Why? Because opposing traffic will be coming out of that one way street. Be careful to keep that space open so cars can get through. Phew!
Now can I go? No, I am going straight. That's for left turning vehicles only. I will say this though, realistically, in Japan there are some lights with no turning arrows, but when you need to make a turn, you can after the light turns red for about 3 seconds. It's kind of an unspoken rule, but we all do it. Close to two wheeled vehicles, pedestrians and close to vehicles with hazardous cargo. And this one, no stopping or parking. That's the double cross right there. Again, and there it is yet again. close the vehicles and motorcycles, but I believe that's during school hours. And there is a school crosswalk sign on the left. And again, I'm in another area of Tokyo this time, making a right turn, but staying all the way on the left. Great. stop sign and wow this is a big sign UFC gym I didn't expect to see that while I was out here to be honest. I should go in for a warm up, but nah, I have to handle business first. Looks awesome. Now I am deep in Tokyo, <laughs> parking an SUV backwards into a super tight spot next to a wall. Tokyo parking, I freaking swear, big lesson here, always, always back in. The camera helps because it's dark as, but if I didn't have it, I'd be fine anyway. Also, you can apply for a scooter license when you are 16 years of age. Lots of young kids ride one without one. That is why you frequently see Japanese pulling them over. Okay, I'm going to pull into another spot. Lots more space out here and light for you. There are people struggling with this, so this is for you. I know three of them at work actually. Now I found the spot I want. I pull up, I make a curve pointing my back tire closest to the spot that I want. If it's off by a little bit, it's okay, but do not have your car straight or perpendicular to the spot. You must position your car at a slight curve. Now I'm going to put the car in reverse and turn my wheel towards the parking spot. If it's not a one banger, <laughs> meaning you can't get in all at once in one move, it's fine, it just pull up, straighten out your wheel, and then reverse and go back in.
And there you have it. Yeah, the back tire is on the line, but the world keeps spinning. People next to you can get out. And I would pull all the way back up to the stopper, but I just don't feel like it. Lifting the suspension all the way up. I have my son inside and I am very busy. But this is how you back into a spot. I was on my honeymoon in Maui and some people gave me a oh my god stare because I backed in so easily. They act like they never seen anything like it. And the lady asked, where did you learn to do that? And my wife replied, Japan. If you can drive here, you can drive anywhere. I mean that. There are so many advantages to backing in. You could see everything around you on your way out the spot and people running up on you on your side mirrors, <laughs> depending on what you got going on. So you can prepare for that. Thanks for watching and check back for more info. DTL.